heck? If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. I usually do more vlog content, but today's video is gonna be a how-to video. And I know a lot of people are trying to start their influencer journeys or increasing their online presence. So today's video is gonna be about how to edit using Final Cut Pro in 2023. If you don't have Final Cut Pro, you can edit using whatever you prefer. But since I have a MacBook and they have a 90 day free trial, I use Final Cut Pro. Let me know if y'all want another one. I can show y'all how to extend that 90 day. Anyway, this video is going to be a little more on the informational side. So if you are trying to learn how to use Final Cut Pro, not just for YouTube videos, but for any editing purposes, make sure you stay and watch the video. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect your external drive and open up Final Cut Pro. Hit okay because it's just a trial. Then you're gonna go to File New Project and name your project whatever it is that you want to name it. I'm just naming this one test because it's just a test. You're gonna see a few different elements when you open the project. Down here is the timeline. It's where you're gonna be importing your clips and actually doing the editing. Up top on the left, you're gonna see the imported media browser. And this is where all your media that you imported is going to be. And then on the right, you'll see a, another element where you can edit the actual video itself, the volume, and just other different small edits you can make. After opening up a new project, you're going to want to import your media by clicking this little arrow on the top left hand side. Once you click that, it's going to open up another window where all your media is going to be, whether that be from an external drive or on your actual computer. So you're going to just find the clips that you're looking for or the music or anything that you want to put in the video. I found this folder of the videos that I want. I'm going to select the entire folder and then hit import selected. And that's going to bring all the clips into the editing interface. You're going to scroll through and find the clips that you want and move them down to your timeline and just repeat that process until you get all the clips that you want into the timeline. First thing we're going to get into is making a cut or splitting a clip. So you're going to move the cursor around until you want to split the clip and then hit command B and that'll break or split the clip for you. And then if you want to get rid of that first clip, you can just go ahead and highlight it and then hit delete and that'll delete that from the video. So I'm just going to beat this a couple times until I get what I want in the video. Once I've broken all the clips, I'm going to go in and delete what I don't want. This is going to be the product of me splitting those videos and deleting the parts that I don't want. You see, like if I would have just left that entire video there, it would have been a little boring to watch. But just breaking the clips and keeping the ones that I want, it's going to make the video a little more enjoying to watch. The next thing that we're going to go over is changing the speed of clips. So you're going to want to click on what you want to change, go up to modify and all the way down to retime. And you'll have a, num a numerous amount of options. You can slow the clip down, speed it up, have it normal speed, or hold it. So you have different options. So I'm gonna do this four times, just so I can make the clip a little bit faster. So it's not just me sitting here writing something for five minutes instead of speeding it up and making it a 10 second clip. So after I sped it up, I'm gonna just see if that's the speed that I want. And if so, I can still break a clip where the speed has been changed. So after I change the speed and break the clip where I want, I'm going to go through and watch it again just to see if it's actually what I want. But I just made the video a little bit more bearable to watch and not just me writing onto a calendar. Next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to change the volume of your clips. I usually do this at the beginning, but I forgot to do this video. So if you want to do all the clips, you can do all the clips, but you can also select them one by one by holding the command key and then selecting each clip. But you can also hit command A to select all the clips. So once you do that, you're gonna go up to the right hand side where that little volume button is. You're gonna click on that. And there's a number on the side that's like the volume of the video. So. All the videos start off at 0.0, .0 but I like to change my videos to around negative 10 or negative five, just so when you have the volume all the way up on your device, your eardrums aren't busting off. That's also a preference. Um, depending on the volume of the videos that you imported, 
if they're louder you're going to want to change the volume to something a little bit lower maybe in the negative 12s negative 15s but if your video is a little bit quieter you're going to want to put it to about negative five or negative eight somewhere around there nothing too crazy i thought it would capture the sound from the video but it didn't so <laughs> i was trying to let you guys hear the difference in the sound but it didn't pick that up the next thing we are going to go over is adding in generators or text to your screen. They have a lot of different options. I like to just keep it simple and do a pastel one or a black screen or a gray screen. But they have different different ones. You can do this cloud one. This one has numbers counting down, the theater curtains. There's different things that you can do. When you find what you want, you're just gonna hold on to it and drag it down into the timeline. You can change the length of the video or of the screen to be as long or as short as you want. And if you want to add text, I just use the basic title. You can add that into the timeline in between the videos or you can put it on top of something and have that text on top of your video. So I'm gonna do that and just have that text on top of that pastel screen that I added in. And you want to edit that text that's there instead of it saying title, you can have it say anything you want. So I would just double, double click on where it says title and then on the right hand side in that other console up there, you'll have the ability to change the font. You can change the font size. I'm gonna just make this black since the screen is on the lighter side just so you can see it better. It looks a little small, so I'm just gonna increase the size of the font. And once I do that, I'm just gonna go back and see how it looks flowing into the video. And then I see that it's too long of a clip, so I just go ahead and click on the clip, hit Command B to break that as well, and then do the same for the text. And it's sh as short as I want it now, so it flows into the video nicely. Also, like you're zooming into a photo on your phone, you can zoom into the timeline to make the clips bigger so that you have more precise editing. So if you use your two fingers and expand on the trackpad, you can make the clips expand and get a little bit more precise editing. As I mentioned before, you can search the uh, imported media that you have. And since I have an ending screen for my videos, I already have that saved. So I just go ahead, and search that up my imported media and just move that to the end of my video. So all my videos are the same. I don't have to keep making the same ending clip every time. I can make another video if you guys would like showing how you can make an ending screen and making it into a clip that you can import into all of your videos. The last part is adding music. I feel like every video should have music in the background, no matter if you're talking or if there's just B-roll going on. I feel like music is very important because if not, it just, the difference between background music and no music is very, very drastic so what i do if i'm not talking in the video i will drag the music into the video and change the volume to around negative 15 negative 20 but if i am talking i'll bring it down to about negative 30 negative 35 just so you can hear it in the background if there's any any quiet spots in between me talking but not enough to drown out me talking yeah like i said i tried to allow you guys to hear how it sounds and in the volume but it didn't pick up on the video also when you're adding music you're going to want to go all the way to the end and clip it where the end of the video is if not the video will just keep going on and on and on until the music portion that you imported stops and then the very last thing that i'm going to show you guys is how to fade out music there are little arrows and you can drag those either left or right depending on where the clip is positioned and that will fade the music in or fade it out if it's at the end of the video. If it's at the beginning of the clip, it'll fade in. If you move the arrow to the right and if you move the arrow to the left, it'll fade out. And when you want to watch your project back full screen, you just view, playback, and then all the way at the bottom, the second from the bottom is play full screen. You click on that and it'll have your video play in full screen so you can see how it would look if you were to upload this somewhere or export this video somewhere. 
If you stayed to the end of the video, I appreciate you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments about if this was helpful or if you have any other questions on different effects or anything or different editing methods that you wanna learn about, I can help you guys. I can make another video if you guys would like. This will probably be part one of a maybe two, three part series. It's not gonna be a super long video, just some base level editing methods. So if you guys would like another video or have any questions, please leave them down below and I will look over them and make another video. Like I said, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!